Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an Airbus pilot and in today's video I want to show you a little trick on how to check that the route you've uplinked actually matches what you filed in your flight plan. So, as most of you know, contrary to the Boeing's route page, the Airbus flight plan page does show you the waypoints and the airways, but it doesn't give you an easy overview of what you can do. But there is a little trick of what pilots can do in order to be able to cross-check the route they uplinked. So if we have a look into our flight plan today, we can find that we are filed from Oslo towards Hamburg and this is our planned route of flight down here. Now. 99.9% .9 of you simply uplink your route using SimBrief and trust that this route is actually correct. But as an air traffic controller on VATSIM, I often see people deviating from the routes they filed. And usually people are not even aware that they are deviating from their filed route. Now there are two primary reasons. Number one, the filed flight plan simply deviates from the route in SimBrief. That can be the case, for example, if you've recalculated the operational flight plan. So it's always a good idea to check the OFP number up here, OFP1 in this instance. The other one is that an error occurred during the uplink, for example, because of different databases. So let's have a look into how you can check the route in your FMC easily. And for this, we go to the data key and then hit the uh, arrow to the right and then we've got the pilot's route prompt over here. Now, in the Fenix Airbus this page looks a little bit different but the pilot routes exist as well. So you go into pilot routes and normally when you are on this page for the first time you will have a little prompt to store the active or the secondary flight plan on the left hand side there. Alternatively, if you already have a route in there, you can always hit delete all, or you can simply go into a new route and then um, save that. So, here is an example of the route that I have simply saved just now. And you can see over here you've got the easy overview from Oslo towards Hamburg, and this is our route of flight. So, we've got the Vipper 1 Charlie departure towards Vipper. We can cross check that with our route in the flight plan. Then Papa 615 towards Alpha Lima Sierra. And we've got that here Papa 615, Alpha Lima Sierra. Then we've got Mike 852. And be aware that there might be a double entry here in the flight plan. So you can see over here we've got Mike 852 towards Alasa. But then we've also got a flight level step in the route over here. So you can see it continues on the same airway towards the waypoint Umvub. So if we check this in the FMC, we can see we've got uh, Mike 852 towards Umvuk down here. And then finally we've got Tango 905 towards Bokmu and the Bokmu 2 Papa arrival. And in here we've got Tango 905 Bokmu and then we've got the Bokmu 2 Papa arrival. And this way you can easily check your route. Now if anything happens, if you mess up the flight plan edit or whatever, you can now simply reinsert the route as well by using the saved route name, so in this case SRTE1. And if you go to the init page and you enter SRTE1 on the company route up here, then that way around you can simply save your um, or recall the route that you saved previously. Alright, and that is about it. That's as easy as it gets for checking your route in the Airbus. Be aware, you should always do this, even if you have uplinked your flight plan, because as I mentioned earlier, for example, you might have filed your Watson flight plan with an earlier revision of your operational flight plan with a slightly different route in it and so on. So it is mandatory for pilots to check that the route in there actually matches your flight plan. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then do let me know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to see what you think about it and see you all again on the next one. In the meantime, do leave a like if you liked the video as it does help with the YouTube algorithms. Comment to let me know if you knew this one already. And finally, if you're up for more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again very soon.